Today's video is going to cover the top 10 deadliest animals. It should be no surprise that despite our big intelligent brains, humans are not the biggest or strongest in the animal kingdom. Throughout history, we haven't ever even been the apex predators of our environments. Though technology has changed this to a degree, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, we still have a massive disadvantage to many of the animals on our list. Some of the animals on this list may surprise you, while some may not be surprising at all. And as a caveat, many of the lists you'll find on the subject include animals that indirectly cause the death of human by way of disease transmission. So though they have some involvement in these deaths, they are not truly responsible for the death, but rather it is the parasite, virus, or disease that actually kills the individual. With that being said, let's get into today's list. At number 10 on our list is wolves. With over 30 subspecies, wolves are native to Europe, Asia, and North America. Male wolves average roughly 40 kilos and can be up to 160 centimeters in length. Wolves are pack hunters, rely on cooperation to hunt a variety of prey, ranging from as small as 50 pounds to as large as a 1,400 pound adult moose. Attacks on humans are rare, and deaths by wolf attack are even rarer. The majority of deaths caused by wolf attacks are children, and when adults are killed, the victims are usually women. Historically, however, wolves have been quite deadly to humans. For example, France recorded 7,500 fatal wolf attacks between the years 1200 and 1920. This equates to roughly 10 deaths in each of those years in France alone. These days, however, wolves are estimated to kill 10 people per year globally. At number 9 on our list is lions, the king of the jungle that inhabits only grasslands and savannas, ironically enough. In Neolithic times, lions roamed throughout Africa, Southeast Europe, and in various parts of Asia. Presently, lions inhabit fragmented regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, with one other lone population in India. The largest lions can grow to be almost 2 meters in length and weigh almost 225 kilos. Lions, similar to wolves, are also pack hunters, preying primarily on large ungulates such as deer, giraffe, and cattle. Given their size and the size of their typical prey, it should come as no surprise that lions can take down even the largest of men if they so desire. In one particularly well-publicized case, 28 railroad workers were taken and killed by lions over nine months during the construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway in 1898. These days, however, lion kills are quite rare. Yearly, just over 20 people are killed worldwide by lions. At number 8 on our list is elephants. Currently the largest land animal on Earth, elephants inhabit various regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. There are several elephant subspecies alive today, with the largest of these being the African bush elephants. These massive creatures can grow up to 11 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh as much as 6.9 tons. Although elephants are herbivores, they can be aggressive to humans and other animals. Due to their much larger size, elephant attack can be lethal to almost any other creature if they attack. In parts of India, male elephants occasionally enter villages at night, destroying homes and killing people. Their large tusks can easily gore and maim, while their giant legs and feet can be used to trample people. Worldwide, elephants are thought to be responsible for around 100 deaths per year. At number 7 on our list is the hippopotamus. These large semi-aquatic mammals are native to sub-Saharan Africa, inhabiting lakes, rivers, and mangrove swamps. The closest living relatives of the hippo are actually cetaceans such as whales and dolphins, having diverged from a common ancestor about 55 million years ago. Hippos are the third largest land animal after rhinos and elephants, weighing in on average at around 1,500 kilos. Hippos are particularly dangerous because they are highly aggressive and unpredictable, known to frequently charge and attack boats. Small boats are easily capsized by the large hippos, and then the passengers thrown overboard are often attacked in the water. In one particular incident in Niger, a boat was capsized by a hippo and 13 people who had been in the boat were killed. Worldwide, hippos are thought to kill roughly 500 people per year. At number 6 on our list is the crocodile. Crocodiles are large semi-aquatic reptiles native to the tropics of Asia, Africa, Australia, and the Americas. These giant reptiles have roamed the earth for at least 80 million years and are highly adapted predators. The largest saltwater crocodiles can grow to over 23 feet long and weigh over 2,200 pounds. These large beasts also boast 80 teeth that they can regrow over and over in their 75-year lifespan. In addition to these rows of teeth, Crocodiles have the strongest bite of any animal, surpassing even the great white shark by almost a thousand pound feet of pressure. When prey ventures near the crocodile in the water, the crocodiles strike before their victims have a chance to even react. This includes humans. 
The largest single incident involving crocodile attacks on humans occurred in February 1945, when 900 Japanese soldiers crossed through 10 miles of crocodile-infested mangrove. Close to 400 soldiers died during the crossing. Annually, crocodiles are thought to kill at least 1,000 people, although these attacks often go unreported and occur in remote areas. The real death toll might be as many as a few thousand per year. Coming in at number five is the tapeworm. Tapeworms are a type of parasitic flatworm that lives in the digestive tracts and other related ducts of vertebrates. This includes humans. Similar to a ribbon in appearance, tapeworms can range in size from 10 centimeters to 23 meters in length at their largest. Tapeworm infections start when contaminated food or water is ingested that contains tapeworm eggs or larvae. Most infections are fairly innocuous, with the tapeworm simply living off the host's consumed food. But certain tapeworm eggs can migrate outside the intestines and form larval cysts in the tissues and organs around the body, including the brain. Tapeworm cysts, left untreated, can grow large enough and numerous enough to disrupt organ function and cause serious complications. Occasionally, this results in the death of the host, and so roughly 2,000 people people per year die from tapeworm infections. Coming in at number four is the Ascaris roundworm. Similar to tapeworms, these parasitic worms take up residence in the digestive tract and other organs and are thought to affect around 10% of the world's population. Cases tend to increase in severity as the number of worms in the infected host increases. 85% of cases are minor and don't display any symptoms. However, larger and more serious infestations can cause nausea, stomach pain, and vomiting when in the intestines and coughing or wheezing when in the lungs. More serious complications can lead to death, such as one incident whereby the worms ruptured the intestines of the patient, resulting in their death. In total, 2,500 people die each year from Ascaris roundworms. Coming in at number three is the scorpion. With over 2,500 discovered species, scorpions have inhabited the earth for roughly 435 million years. Scorpions are predatory arachnids, using their front pincers to restrain, poison, and kill their prey. The largest of these is the giant forest scorpion that measures as much as nine inches in length. This large scorpion is not very lethal because it's evolved to crush prey using its large pincers. The most venomous scorpions are the fat-tailed scorpions, possessing venom strong enough to kill a human with a dose of only 18 milligrams. Thankfully, only about 25 of the 2,500 species have venom strong enough to kill a person. Around 1.5 million people are stung by scorpions each year, resulting in around 3,200 deaths. At number two on our list is the snake. There are roughly 3,700 species of snake worldwide, and they inhabit every continent except Antarctica. The largest of these is the green anaconda, which can grow up to 220 pounds and exceed 18 feet in length. Like the scorpion, however, these large beasts are not the most deadly. That dishonor goes to the inland taipan, whose venom is so lethal that a single bite is enough to kill 100 fully grown humans. Thankfully, only about 15% of snakes are dangerous to humans. Otherwise, the number of fatalities from up to 5.5 million snake bites might be a lot higher than it is. The majority of these occur in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa, and unfortunately, many of these areas have limited access to high-quality healthcare and anti-venom. In addition to a large number of deaths annually, even bites that aren't fatal can cause permanent disability because of the severity of the venom. In total, up to 100,000 people are killed annually by snake bites. Coming in at number one on our list is humans. Currently, and for many millennia, the animal that has directly killed more humans than any other animal is other humans. To clarify, this figure only accounts for homicides and not contagious diseases that spread from person to person, such as HIV. In 2017, homicides accounted for 0.7% of deaths worldwide. But this rate varies exponentially from region to region and from country to country. For example, the place you are most likely to be killed by another human is El Salvador. In El Salvador, over 10% of the annual deaths are attributed to homicide. Conversely, the least homicidal country on Earth is Japan, with only 0.2% of their annual deaths being attributed to homicide. Globally, 90% of the homicides are committed by men, and almost 80% of homicide victims are male as well. The weapons of choice in homicides were primarily handguns at 54% and knives at 22%. In total, a horrifying 437,000 people are killed each year by other people. 
more than double all the other causes of death combined on the list. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for listening. If this type of content interests you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. If you have a story suggestion or subject you'd like me to cover, drop a comment down below and let me know what it is, and I will do my best to cover all of it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.